Good morning, new members of the Spring Branch ISD family. My name is Scott Murray and I'm the superintendent of Spring Branch ISD. And I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you in person today. I'm actually in Philadelphia uh, with a group of superintendents, uh, both state level and district level from across the country called Chiefs for Change, um, a group of individuals that are focused on creating very healthy and positive environments for the kids that we serve all over this country. And that's a description of the family that you've joined here in Spring Branch ISD. We are an organization uh, that is focused on meeting effectively the needs of the 35,000 kids that we serve every single day. So who are we and what do we do? Well, we're an organization, a family, that is based upon some core values. We believe in every child. We believe that every child that we serve uh, deserves a great opportunity to experience success in life. And we know as educators that we are a critical piece um, of that environment and that ultimately that child's success. We're an organization that believes that we're collectively great. We believe that when we come together and do things uh, together as an organization, we are greater. And so collective greatness is one of our core values. We value collaborative spirit. Uh, we actually enjoy working together. We enjoy the professional learning communities that we're a part of. We enjoy opportunities to fellowship and to learn and grow together. So collaborative spirit is a part of who we are as an organization. We also believe that when our kids come to us, uh, whether as, at the age of three or whether they join us in middle school or high school, uh, that kids possess a limitless curiosity. And it is our opportunity as an organization to feed and nurture that limitless curiosity and ultimately provide um, options and, and, and pathways for kids to explore fully uh, their limitless curiosity and again, ultimately experience, use that curiosity to experience success in life. And finally, we're an organization that has a really strong moral compass. We believe as educators and individuals throughout the organization that we must always be filled with integrity and do what is right and good and just for the kids that we serve. So that moral compass drives the decisions um, of our organization. And using those core values and the really hard work of educators and staff members from around the district, the 4,600 of us, we've done some amazing work for kids. Uh, in fact, just last year, we saw uh, some astonishing results in our own district. Uh, the learning gaps that many of our kids experience, the gap between our students of poverty and our students that do not live in poverty, uh, the gap between our African-American students um, and their peers, the gap between our Hispanic students and their peers. We last year uh, narrowed the gaps between every single subgroup that we serve. So it was an exciting year for students in Spring Branch last year. We saw our post-secondary readiness increased by seven percentage points last year. That was a significant um, accomplishment on the part of our students, and that was nurtured by the staff members that serve those kids every year. So significant gains in, in academics, significant growth on the part of our students, and then a lot of gap closing last year. So it's a healthy opportunity for kids in Spring Branch ISD, and we are glad, I am glad, that you're a part of our team. Several years ago in Spring Branch, we developed a strategic plan which guides our work. Uh, the theme, the name of our strategic plan is the learner's journey. And we did that, um, we created that name for a couple of reasons. One is we recognize that not only are the 35,000 students that we serve learners, but we ourselves, the 4,600 employees of Spring Branch are learners. So this journey that we are traveling upon in, uh, through education is something that engages all of us, both students and adults alike. The Learner's Journey focuses upon um, a central theme for our students. We have a, a central goal in our system. We call that our T24 goal. We want success um, in the military, technical, two or four year institution for every single child in our system. And so we call that again our T24 goal. And that is the center of our strategic plan. We wrap our strategic plan around one central concept, uh, one strategy and that is personalization. We know today in, in education in the year 2018 that we must think about the individual needs of every child that we serve and then do everything within our power to meet their individual needs. And so personalization is the primary strategy of our strategic plan. Plan is, has four focus areas. One of those is building a resilient foundation, uh, putting those 
foundational pieces in place that are important to an organization. Much like you might build a house and create a solid foundation on which to build that structure, we as an organization know that we have to have solid footings and a foundation in order which to do good work. Uh, professional learning communities are a part of that foundation. Every teacher, every educator within our organization being a part of a healthy pers uh, professional learning community. We also pay attention to uh, the learning environment of our student, and we call that the learning ecosystems um, of our kids. Thinking about the ways that our kids learn, uh, the places in which our kids learn, the tools and resources that our children have. All of those opportunities uh, to think about how we personalize most effective uh, for our students. We also think about us, the extraordinary people in Spring Branch, and we've spent a lot of time, energy, and effort over the last several years thinking about how we more effectively support you, uh, the employees of our system. We've improved our compensation program, um, added uh, raises last year and again this year, a 3% of midpoint raise for our employees. So paying attention to your pocketbook and how important compensation is in this highly competitive environment. But we also know that our employees are interested in growth and development. And so creating new opportunities for employees to see future potentials, to think about opportunities to develop their leadership capabilities and grow into other positions within the organization. So developing people uh, through high quality personalized professional development and also uh, leveraging our financial resources to make sure that we're investing in your financial health as an employee of our system. And also customized supports is a part of our strategic plan. We live in an incredible community uh, that has provided uh, significant levels of supports uh, for our students and our staff members. And so we know that as an organization, we can do a better job leveraging those resources. And so our customized supports area is focused upon thinking about the external audiences that we serve, as well as the internal um, opportunities that we have. How can we align all of those resources to effectively meet the needs of our students and effectively meet the needs of you, our staff members? And that is the strategic plan. Again, we call that in Spring Branch, the learner's journey. I was in my first year as the superintendent here in Spring Branch and was sitting at a board meeting one night and noticed some commotion in the back of the room and noticed that several of my senior staff members were getting up from their tables and, and engaging in a conversation in the back of the room and all this was taking place during the board meeting. And so I knew something was happening in the organization and this was about uh, 8.30 or 9 o'clock at night. So the board meeting ended uh, pretty quickly and then uh, several senior staff members came up to me and shared that uh, a local apartment complex uh, had caught on fire and that many of our families uh, were being evacuated from that apartment complex. And so what was happening in the organization, uh, the team, uh, your team, your new team, your, your Spring Branch ISD team was rallying supports for those families. We opened one of our elementary schools um, instantly and created a shelter for those families uh, that were being evacuated uh, from that particular apartment complex. We ordered school buses and had buses pick up those families uh, in the middle of the night from that apartment complex and drive them to that elementary school. Our cafeteria workers were organized and, and began to create uh, food and prepare food in the, in the cafeteria kitchen again at night for, for the families. Uh, the community of Spring Branch uh, watched on the news what was happening and began uh, to leave their homes at night and go to uh, the local stores and purchase supplies and materials, everything from diapers and baby food to articles of clothing and things that these families might need. So after the board meeting uh, and listening to all of this, I hopped in my car and, and went over to this particular elementary school. At this point, it's about 10 o'clock at night and I was absolutely overwhelmed with what I saw. And again, I'm a new superintendent, so I hadn't quite experienced this part of Spring Branch yet, but walked into the school and the first thing that I uh, noticed was a significant smell of smoke. Um, while the school was not filled with smoke, the people that were in the school that had been evacuated from the fire were just covered in smoke-filled clothing. Um, they all had look of uh, shock uh, on their faces, these moms and dads with their children. In fact, about 300 people uh, were gathered in the school cafeteria. They had just been evacuated and had watched their, their apartment uh, catch on fire and then burn to the ground. Uh, but what I saw was an incredible community uh, coming together um, instantly in support of these families. Cafeteria workers cooking and preparing and serving food. Our custodians on site cleaning and preparing places for 300 people uh, to sleep uh, that very night. Administrators from all over the district coming to help organize uh, individuals and, and help uh, move people through 
uh, the, the school and, and uh, we had volunteers from all over the community who hopped in their cars and were dropping off supplies, uh, teachers and other employees that showed up at the school simply to volunteer and help in any way possible. Uh, groups of teachers taking children and providing uh, some opportunity uh, for them to play and, and help them remove some of the stress that they'd experienced that night. I watched the Spring Branch ISD family come together in an instant uh, to provide for and care for the needs of 300 members of our own community that have been devastated by a fire. That's the family that you're joining here at Spring Branch ISD. And it is my honor and privilege to welcome you as a new employee to the Spring Branch ISD family.